Hello everyone, my name is I, Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to set up and install NVE graphics mod into your guys' 5M. This is client side did, so it will work on all 5M servers. Doesn't matter if it's yours or someone else's, it will work. So it's a really, really, really nice way to make your 5M look good on all servers. All you guys are going to want to do, hit the first link down in the description below. The link goes right here to the Patreon page for Race Mods. Now there is a free version of NVE, but it is only for story mode. But if you guys want the 5M version, then you guys can come to the Patreon and get the gold tier. That is £8.50, whatever money that is in dollars, maybe $10 or something like that. Don't buy it, and then you get access to the downloads. You don't have to buy it continuously. It is a monthly subscription, but you can just cancel it after one time. And then when you want a more updated version, you can just buy it again. It's really up to you. But once you guys have downloaded it, you will see the download on the main Patreon feed. I'm not going to show that because I don't want to give the download link away. But open up the zip. And when you open up the zip, as long as you downloaded the 5M package option, then this is what you are going to see. And all we're going to want to do is come to the search bar right here. Search for 5M. Right click and open file location. We're going to right click again and open file location once more. And here is our actual 5M server data location. So we're going to open up the 5M application data folder right here. And then from here, it is pretty simple. All you guys are going to, want to do is open up the mods section. And as you guys can see, I already have all of my NVE mods here. So just for the sake of the video, I'm going to clear them so you guys can see it a bit clearer. This is what your mods folder will probably look like. So to install these, all we're going to want to do, open up the main package, open up the mods folder, control A, and drag and drop into our own mods folder. It should take maybe a minute or so for them to copy across. The download itself is about 12 or 13 gigabytes from the Patreon page, so it is quite big. So you might want to maybe upload this to a drive and then delete it off your PC afterwards just so you always have the version saved, but it's not taking up too much storage. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything so check that out down in the description below www.hcnetwork.1 and now that has copied across we're going to go back in the zip and this time we're going to open up the plugins folder so we're going to do the exact same thing on our 5m folder go back to 5m application data and we're going to open up our own plugins folder i'm going to delete these again so you guys can't see it actually i'll keep them here because reshade isn't directly related but you guys probably will have nothing in your plugins unless you've installed reshade but what you guys are going to do, grab these two folders and drag and drop them in just like that. Super simple, super easy. Now we're going to go back and back again. And you guys will see is we've got some reshade shaders. So if you want to install those, it's really simple. If you have reshade installed, if you don't, you can watch my video on it. I'll leave a link to that in the info card in the top right hand corner or down in the description below. You just drag and drop them into your reshade shaders folder. So just copy that and drag and drop it in. Super simple and super easy. And then obviously you guys want to install the additional mods. We're just going to go back in the zip, back in our 5M application data folder, open the additional add-ons folder. And you guys can see there are tons of things here and all of these will go into the mods folder. So I recommend the brighter emergency lights. This is definitely good. Medium intensity is about the even ground for what you want. You just drag and drop that in. It's so simple and easy. And you guys can see it is an RPF file like all the other ones we dragged and dropped into here. So you guys know you're putting it in the right place. And it's the same with everything else. Animated gas stations, this is quite intense. So if you have a lower end PC, maybe don't install this. If you do, then you can just install it. Parallax Roads is also quite intense, but it looks amazing. Just drag and drop it in. And it's literally the same with everything else. Whatever mods you want, drag and drop them in. Super simple and easy. And the last mod I'd really recommend adding in, which makes a huge difference, is going to be our weapons overhaul and then our hiding the weapon reticle because that just makes it 10 times more realistic there are tons of others here so pick and choose what you want and once we're done we should be good to boot up our 5m once you guys are in game you should be able to see it is already looking a hundred times better i mean look at the lighting the vegetation everything 
looks absolutely awesome. If you guys aren't seeing massive changes and just go into your graphics settings, then just make sure you have your post FX settings on anything over very high. Otherwise, the actual post FX that is coded in for NVE will not work properly. So it's pretty simple. Just make sure that is turned up. And then obviously you can configure your settings as well to make sure you get the best performance possible whilst making sure your graphics still look good. I always recommend making sure your extended texture budget is all the way up as far as possible. This uses more video memory, but it is at the cost of having much, much better performance with no texture loss. So it's really up to you. You might have to turn some other things down for it, but it will definitely improve your graphics. So if you guys did find this video useful, if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Big shout out to the creator of NVE Raised Mods because he has been making NVE for a long time and it is super super good nothing else out there like it and if you guys do need a 5m server to install this on one like this which is a v menu based server you can check out my website hnetwork.1 down in the description below and you guys can get one just like this set up for you automatically using our quick host start or if you don't want a windows gps you guys can simply get the package follow our provided video guides and use our auto installer and it'll pretty much install the whole server for you on your own pc and that's a one time cost so check that out down in the description below see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye